And now, a campfire story with Robert. Binging Netflix is fun, is it? I remember one time I was binging Netflix and after having a really good session, I um, wanted to get up and grab some snacks. So I got up, made some popcorn, probably was a good five minutes away from the computer. And I go back to the computer and the session timed out. So I was like, all right, let me just refresh to get back into it. But as I was trying to get back into it, it logged me out. So I try to um, put my username and the password and it wouldn't let me, it wouldn't accept it. So I tried it again and it didn't work. And at this point it's like, I usually don't have my password in here. It kind of usually just keeps it as it is. You can do that feature on your computer where it just automatically saves your password. So then, uh, maybe try it a different way. Nothing happens. Yeah, another way. Nothing happens. So I see the email and it's like, oh, forgot password. So I tried to put the password in and I was waiting for an email. And I'm waiting. I'm waiting for this email. And then it's like, all right, let me try to send it again. Maybe it didn't go through. It's fine. Nothing happens. So I try a different email. Nothing happens. And then one more for good luck. Another one. Nothing. And then I get a message, text message from a, from a friend of mine. And she says, stop using my Netflix. And it turns out that you were using your friend's Netflix the entire time. So get your own Netflix. It's better than trying to bump off someone else's. And that was a campfire story with Robert.